welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mary and I'm so happy to have you here for today's Self Care Sunday video, the day of the week that we come together for a little self care, skin care, and soul care to talk about love, dating, and the law of attraction. If you're new here, Self Care Sunday is the one day a week that I schedule the video as a live premiere. And by scheduling it as a live premiere, there is a chat window that opens up I don't know, below or beside or something. So I am here live and in person with you every Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to hang out and chat as the video premieres. So if that sounds good to you and you don't wanna miss any future videos as they premiere, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you leave. And if you click the notifications bell right next to it, you'll get notified 30 minutes before the video premieres. So today's topic is one I've been wanting to cover for a long time, but I keep getting other requests and I'm trying to get all the requests from people, but, but I'm finally just like listening to my heart and doing this video and I think it's so important. And this is, it's kind of like, I don't know how I'm gonna headline this, but this is like, this is like the one tip that I can give everyone and anyone on how to be a better manifester, like how to manifest things more quickly or or more smoothly. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like this is something I advocate for a lot on this channel. I always say do what feels good. And now I really want to elaborate on it because I think that is super important. Since this is Self Care Sunday, I am going to be doing some skincare as the video premieres. Um, I kind of just want to get moist. I want to get really moist today. So I've got this, this gel hydrator and I'm, oh, sorry. I said, I told someone I was going to start saying what the products are. This is from Earth Harbor and this is called Cloudburst. And everything that I use is free of like parabens, phthalates, sulfates, all that stuff and it's vegan and cruelty free. So I'm using a gel hydrator um, to help lock in some moisture since I just washed my face. And then over that, I'm gonna put a heavier cream. It's called Wake Up Beautiful and it's a moisturizing sleep mask. So this is anything I have to wash off. I'm just gonna put this on and it's gonna soak into my skin and I'm gonna feel amazing. And then I even have a lip mask to put on so we can get real moist today. If you hate that word, I'm sorry. I just, but do we? damp i want my like how, how else do i describe what i'm going hydrated there we go i, I want to have hydrated skin and i'm also drinking something bubbly right now so it's going to be a fun video so i think what makes me a little bit different than some other channels on on youtube and even like books and stuff is that i feel like a lot of loa people we tend to make the mistake of going hey i found a system that works for me and therefore it'll work for you and then if the person is not seeing results, we go, oh, well, you're just not doing it right. <laughs> and that feels a little bit like a cop out. Um, each one of us human beings walking this planet is different. We all have different lived experiences. We come from different backgrounds. We come from different cultures. Like everyone has different lived experiences and therefore, shocking revelation, our brains just work differently. There are some people who can multitask, some people who can't. Like they're just like we're we're all we're all different. I'm going to give this a second to to settle before I put on the next one. But we're we're all different. And because we're all different, something that works very well for YouTube LOA person whoever may not work perfectly for you because your brain works differently than theirs does. The method that they figured out for themselves may work perfectly for them, but may not work for other people. The same thing with me, the, the methods that I use, which are primarily affirmations, visualizations, and gratitude exercises, those have worked for me to manifest everything that I want in great abundance. But those three things combined may not be a perfect fit for you. Like one of my longtime subscribers was straight up like, I can't visualize. I have a condition that prevents me from having mental images in my mind. Do I need to try to force it? And I'm like, no. Like if there's something that's blocking, like physically blocking you from doing this, you don't have to force yourself to do something that feels so unnatural or or improbable, you know? So so whether it's me or someone else, it's not one size fits all here. It's just like like people there are some people who do keto and lose a whole bunch of weight and feel amazing. And there are some people who do it and they feel like crap. I've been vegan for the last seven years and it works amazing for me. I've had friends who went vegan and they 
felt awful, you know? So like, just because something works for one person does not mean it's going to work for everyone else. And that is okay, because we are all uniquely different. So what I advocate for here on this channel, what I advocate for to my to my coaching clients, I advocate for doing what feels good to you. Now, my suggestions will always be to start with affirmations, visualizations, gratitude exercises, maybe experiment with some journaling exercises if you like those sort of things. But you have to find what feels good to you. And what do I mean by feels good? I mean, what feels natural to you? What feels like there's little to no resistance? I've had some people tell me that affirmations actually make them feel anxious and only remind them of what they don't have. If that is what affirmations do for you, don't do affirmations because newsflash, we all exist in a constant state of manifestation and all the affirmations and visualizations and gratitude exercises and journaling exercises and moon water and dancing naked under the stars, those things are great. They're great, obviously, I love it. But whether you do those things or not, you exist in a constant state of manifestation. We have all been constantly manifesting since birth, okay? We have always been manifesting these things. So all of the, the, the things that you can do, like the practices that you can have to become a better manifester, to take a little more control back of this thing, that is awesome. But what I'm saying is if there's something that doesn't feel good to you and you feel resistance towards that thing, you do not have to do it to be a master manifester. You don't. I'm gonna put on this next the step two of this, the wake up beautiful mask from Pacifica. The best way I can describe the whole like do what feels good thing or why it works so effectively is imagine you're out swimming. I've got some crud on my finger. Imagine you're out swimming and there's just like a slight current, like no one's about to, to drown here, but there's a slight current. If you swim with the current, if you go with the flow, you are going to get where you're trying to go more quickly. You're gonna use less energy while you're doing it. When you get there, you're gonna feel great. You're gonna feel refreshed. Oh, that was so easy. Look how fast I got here and I did it. If you are swimming against the current, you're like, hey, you know what? I just gotta get to shore. And this seems like the shortest direction from here to here. So I'm gonna swim against the current, but I'm gonna get there. And oh my God, you are freaking paddling and you are panting and you're doing everything you can. And you may get there, you may get there, but it's going to take you a hell of a lot longer. You're going to feel like crap when you get there. You're going to be exhausted. It's not going to be an enjoyable experience. Manifesting is exactly the same way. It is exact. There's no difference. So you have to find what resonates with you. Like it's pretty popular right now where there's a lot of LOA channels where people are saying just affirm, like you don't have to do anything else, just affirm. And that's cool, but it didn't work as well for me as what I'm doing now. I had to experiment and found what felt best for me. And because I'm a very visual person, what felt be best for me was including visualizations. I found them to be very comforting to picture my SP wrapping his arms around me at night. It brought me so much comfort and joy. It felt good to me. And then practicing those gratitude exercises felt good to me. It gave me something to feel joyful about and to keep me in this really happy state, which makes it so much easier to manifest. So if you're someone who just affirming over and over and over again gives you anxiety or it doesn't spark joy, as Marie Kondo would say, don't do that. Sure, still do your affirmations, but find other things that feel good for you that bring you comfort, that bring you peace? How are you going to live in the end, here mentally and in your heart, your end state, if you are here in the present 3D, feeling anxious and nervous and scared? Oh, but I'll just affirm through it, I'll just affirm through it. And then you have people who crash and burn and they go, the law of attraction doesn't work. It does, you just have to find what works for you because each person is different. And that's why I post such a variety of topics on this channel. And I give you guys so many different things to work with. I talk about affirmations and visualizations and gratitude. I talk about journaling exercises. I talked about a magical creation box. I talk about 
this money game where you double your money every day and imagine what you would do with that. I give you guys so many options to work with so you can find what feels good to you and what feels natural for you. So when you're manifesting your SP, as an example, there are times that you are going to feel sad. I have people who ask me like, did you feel sad or anxious or scared as you were manifesting your SP? Did you ever feel like you weren't gonna get them? And I'm like, yes, I felt that way. Absolutely. But if you feel that way all the time as you're affirming or visualizing or doing whatever, then whatever it is you're doing is not the thing that you should be doing. And you should experiment and find what else works for you. Because the things that work with you and resonate with you are going to put you in a happier and more peaceful state generally. You're going to have times if you're especially if you're manifesting an SP and you're heartbroken, you're going to have times when you just feel like crap about it. And you're just sad. And you have to just pull yourself up out of the gutter and get back to it. Okay, there are going to be times when you feel that way. But if you feel that way all the time as you're going through your practices for manifestation, you need to experiment and find other things that work for you. So you have to find what feels good for you. Drinking this bubbly feels good for me. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, my lip mask. The video is almost over. And I forgot that I want to have moisturized and hydrated lips. I didn't say the word that some people hate. I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying to be sensitive. Do you agree with everything I just said? Like, are you someone who believed there's only one right way to manifest? Or or have you tried, like, experimenting with other things and found what your particular flow happens to be? I would love to hear your comments on this, as always. There is no expert. There is no one expert in this field. We are all just learning and growing together and it's such a beautiful thing. So I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this topic. And as always, if you have any requests for future topics, please do not hesitate to drop those in the comment section below. I'm sure my longtime subscribers here will tell you I absolutely love getting video recommendations from you guys and I have a lot of fun recording those topics and posting them. So if you have any requests, be sure to drop it in the comments below. And before you leave, please be sure to hit the like button so I know that you think that I did a good job. And then that motivates me to just keep, keep it going. Just gonna keep it going. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye friends.